Welcome back to Trove One, everybody. I might have accidentally lied last time. I said we weren't going to take the white Suburban on any more trips, but we kind of are because we haven't taken the car seats out yet or pulled the engine out yet. We're working at Tracer Customs on getting the 6.0 out of the other vehicle that's going to go into this one. So go follow that. But we're out in the Ozarks. It's been, it rained the last couple days. There's a lot of water running around. We're going to try to go to a waterfall and we're exploring some new roads. So it could get interesting. All right, I've given up. We're gonna turn around. I could winch up this, but it's just, it's a dead end road. I think there's a camp spot up here, so I'm gonna walk up here and look at that. But there's not really a reason to sit here and winch and fight with it when probably not a whole lot exciting down the road. I'm just gonna walk down a little ways and see. And then we're gonna turn around and head back. Cause I don't wanna sit here all day fighting with this when there's other stuff that we do want to go see. This was just a little, oh, let's see where this road goes. but. We'll, we'll come back another time and go down it, maybe when it's not so sopping wet. Looks like the trail goes on a little bit further, but it pretty much stops at this old shale pit. So, you could come camping here. It wouldn't really be a bad spot. Looks like somebody's had a fire here. There's not a technical fire ring, but you could certainly set up right here. Be right close to the creek. And uh, just a little old shale pit.
pretty pretty good hill climb right there it definitely would not pull that off with the camper camera probably doesn't show but that's that's pretty steep also hit the rim pretty good on that uh rock back there put a pretty good little gouge in the in the rim there but we got spares so and we can always buy another set of these rims for pretty cheap on facebook somewhere so that's the nice thing about running stock rims We just barely managed to squeeze around that tree. I would have cut it, but I'm afraid the stump's gonna roll off down in the road if I cut it. So I might come back with the tow truck on the Arkansas Road Recovery Channel and get all that removed so it's not blocking the road and not have to drive around it. So I might try to come back and do that in the next day or two if we get some time. It's gonna get really, really cold, like single digits, which is really cold for Arkansas in the next couple days. And there's a pretty decent chance of snow. So. We might be having some more fun in the next day or two. Found some icicles. It's cold out here. Now we got one last gnarly little section and then we're to the top of this hill. If we can get up this, I think this is the worst spot yet. This, this is going to be a challenge to keep the vehicle out of the embankment or to ride it around this side with that big rock there. I wish I had my rock sliders built, but I don't yet. So we'll see what happens here. If you can turn your wheels to the right, you should be able to go that way, maybe. Maybe not. It seemed like a little gap there, but maybe not too much of one. It's your lack of traction, I guess, more than anything. Okay. Woo. Let me 
Fall down the mountain over here. Try right there. Try right there. Right a rock. Oh, almost over. I was wrong. <laughs> You're on the other rock. I thought you were talking about that one. That was kind of a gnarly section, but we're to the top of the hill now. That was just a little bit more than we could handle without the winch. We're real close to hitting the rocker panels on the one side with where that rock was. If I had a rock slider, it would have made that easier. Solid axle would also help because I wouldn't be as worried about exploding the front end. But we're up and we're gonna find a spot and have some lunch, I think. All right, we've made it to a good spot. There's a nice camp spot right here in the woods. And then there's a pond right here. And there's some sort of clearing out here. I think it's like a natural area or something. There might be a little walking trail, maybe an overlook. We'll check it out. And we're gonna eat, because we're hungry. All right, we got some cheese and crackers, trail mix. We're good to go. I've been thinking about making some fold down tables for the barn doors. So I could put two of them on and have two fold down tables when we're just out doing day trips and stuff. I'm thinking that would be kind of handy for making lunch and things like that. Maybe I'll do that at some point. Pretty decent view from up here. This would be an awesome spot to own if it wasn't National Forest. You build a house right up here on top of this mountain with that view. Talk about an incredible oh, spot. You just, don't want anyone going down there and you just have to have a helicopter to fly in and out and go to work. <laughs> All right, lunch has been had and it's time to move on. Let's see what else we can get into.
Well, we've come to another nice little camp spot. It's a nice little clearing at the end of a dead end road. So this would be a good, good little spot to come. I bet this gets used for a deer camp quite a bit. Seems like a good deer hunting area to me. Well, this right here, I always carry the Milwaukee chainsaw. Somebody's cut it, but only to fit a side-by-side, -side, not uh, a Suburban. Well, my battery's dead. Evidently, I didn't charge it after last time, and it's been really cold, so it zapped it. So, we're gonna pull out the winch and snatch block and pull us out of the road that way. Almost made it through it, too. Always charge your batteries. We usually do. I've never had that battery be dead on me, but I guess I used it too much last time. This was a nice, simple winch setup. Just snatch block off the pine tree, come back here, soft shackles on everything, a little soft shackle, snatch block ring. It's fairly easy to do. It just takes more time to set up. The chainsaw is so much faster. Cut a couple chunks, push them out of the way. But it's always good to have multiple options. found a pretty cool little pond out here with a really nice camp spot nice firing a nice little camp spot right here right by a little pond find all kinds of kids stuff today We've come to a little hiking area. We're going to drop down the mountain here and see a waterfall. We've hiked this and shown this to some of y'all before if you watch some of our old videos. We're taking a different route this time. We're taking a short route. You can come down the rougher road a little further, park here, and then just drop straight down the hill. Or you can come in and see the top of the creek 
and see the falls. Both of them are pretty, but we're going to take a short route today. All right, it's fine if you knock the ice off. All right, we've gotten everybody down into the ravine and there's ice formations everywhere. Beautiful. All down through the bluff line here. And of course, the twin falls right there. Super cool, beautiful spot. The ice is melting, so there's a lot of dripping water. It's in the 30s right now, but it's above freezing. With the single digit temperatures we have coming up, there's gonna be so many ice formations, especially with all the rain we just had. The Ozarks are just gonna be incredible. I hope we get to spend some more time out. I don't know if we will, but God, I love it. I love winter. Love winter in the Ozarks. Alright, we're working on climbing up out of here because I was getting cold, so we're warming our hands up. We're going to climb on up and head on out. I'm yeah, it's because you've been touching ice, goofball. It makes your hands cold. <laughs> Daddy, come back. He'll come back for you. Just hang on. You guys stay with Mommy and, and Mima right now. Ready, Zai? All right. <laughs> Woo! Sun is not too far from setting. We're almost to the top. It's quite the trek up this mountain. Half carrying, half dragging, half, half walking, half falling. But it beats sitting around on the couch all day doing nothing. There's even a little bit of snow on the ground or sleet. Woo! Almost there. I see the vehicle. following the road that that water falls off of is like a loop and so we're following that loop around we've never been on this portion it's a little bit less of a road but it's really pretty and it's it basically follows the hilltop and off to the side is 
probably a bluff line. You can kind of see it off through the edge of the woods. I'm hoping to find a camp spot on here, but I'm not real hopeful considering how narrow the road is. But it's, it's a pretty cool road nonetheless. There's a little offshoot from the road and this is what we've been driving close to is stuff like this you can just kind of see it off see the sunset over there oh i see some snow on the other side i can hear the creek down in the bottom absolutely beautiful I, you could you could camp right here it's just off the road but it's really really small you could fit like one jeep in here barely we'll keep going hoping there's a better spot but we're about to get all the way around the loop pretty nonetheless No epic camp spots on that road, unfortunately, but we got another little loop to check out and a couple dead ends before we get out of here. Hopefully we got enough daylight to at least see what's on them. We found another camp spot by another little pond, which is kind of cool. A little fire ring. You can tell it's a deer camp because there's a board up in the tree there for skinning out your deer. Not bad. We've racked up a lot of camp spots today, which is always nice. And we'll have all those in our GPX files for our patrons, so don't miss out. Welcome to the Ozarks, where you better not care about your paint. <laughs> All right, we're headed home. We stopped off at Harps here in uh, Paris and grabbed some sandwich stuff. So we're gonna eat some sandwiches on the way home because this ended up being way later than we planned on, which is typical for us. So we're gonna head home. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Hopefully we get some snow tomorrow and the next day and we get to do some snow exploring, but we'll see.